a look at where the other debris are. So this is the first step to clearing out something. Is is what you need is a rake. When you experience a lot of trees that have just been sitting there for so long, it's going to stink. So make sure they have gloves on. And make sure that you keep your head distant from those sticks. And they will break it easily. And when they do, there's going to be dust that goes in the air. So make sure when you set it down, throw it. Throw it in the pile. So you have this pile over here. Down. house down uh, what we have to do is we have to get rid of the trees that have branches that are going to go over that so in order to cut a larger tree with a small axe what you have to do is sort of do it like a beaver if you have ever seen a beaver cut a tree they always go around the tree before it goes down and so that's exactly how we're doing this here we went all the way around and then afterwards this is what we've done all morning and hopefully we'll finish in the next hour. So just wanted to show you all uh, before this goes down, we'll be hauling this off afterwards. So take care of yourself. This is day three of being on the new property. Very good. And already clearing down. Uh, Big Trey, I'll tell you that this stood a lot tougher than I, than I did. And my angels and I, as one human being, had uh, prayed prayer that it finished in the next 30 minutes. Next thing you know, less than uh less than 20 minutes late this was uh in a sense a large tree but definitely did not expect to take all morning and all afternoon literally had to take the branches off because they were leaning off so hard my angels and i are at the very first side goodness industries property and my forever home Today was clearing out a lot of the types of 
trees that were small, some were uh, dead but yet still standing, and some was was there taking up a lot of room for having any space at all. <laughs> But this axe right here is absolutely incredible. Very wise investment. It's called Maple Ridge, and that really does help. So my angles and I have to have enough room to put everything together here. Very good. So Doing very good. Uh, putting, putting everything together, uh, every single detail. I am so proud of you. Do very good. Well, literally, the wind is getting very severe. Like this, this just happened. Um, oh my goodness! It. I think that it's going to be a long process to to pick up. Oh my goodness! The metal is broken. And all that's left is the, the flooring. Oh my. Be back soon. Doing everything by hand it sort of puts blisters on your hands. Uh, well, by hand. Now, uh, that's what these ropes are for and have dug. And we have some good news. There is water that has emerged already which is really exciting. I hand dug this and that has, and this is actually an illusion because this looks like a regular trash can, but then you open it up and then boom, there, that's an entire well. We are very excited. We're getting our portable building. Yay. So this is coming right now. We're so excited. This is a big moment of our life here. And we are very thankful for them making this possible. You all were so excited. And I am so thankful for this miracle opportunity. Bigger than expected. And as you can see, everything is painted red. And again, this is Ron's portable buildings. And that was so well put together. I am very thankful for this glorious opportunity. I'm Wanda. Yeah. And I'm, I'm Debbie. And Debbie and Wanda is our next door neighbors that uh, live just right around the corner from here. And they have done something that is just such a miracle blessing. And well, it's Wanda, so nice did, to actually, Wanda did this. To actually think of, to think of someone that, you know, is, is starting up and just moved here, not really used to the weather. And uh, this is really shocking for them to, <laughs> to actually do something. I'm really thankful for you all. We want to know uh, hot hands. This is something that they had gotten, and this is something that 
it heats up if you want to explain. Yeah, like you activate them and then like you can stick them down inside your gloves or in your socks and they'll kind of heat that part of your body. It puts off heat and warms you up. Absolutely. And that's really nice of you to think of that. And you all have ways of heat as well. And mm -hmm. you do have that. Good. Yeah. And yeah, that electricity. Land clearing right now. Here we're on our property of our forever home and the future of the Saigon industries and the farmer's market that we're creating as well. And so here are these gloves have gotten really cold. And literally everything has frozen in here. So it's uh, really difficult. Uh, luckily, we had just seen our wonderful neighbor uh, not too long ago, um, Debbie. Debbie L and I, we are so thankful for her visiting. She she had uh, charged at some stations uh, before, and she came and we gave her a gift, and we gave her a very antique gift. And here my angels and I are. It's an antique peeler. It's it's a type of peeler that is very antique. It's red, and then we gave her a little gift basket. It is. Uh, Christmas Eve, and so we wanted to gift her as well. This is a very large tree, and literally had just cleared this out uh, with a, a single axe and a shovel. It took the shovel because it was trying to get underneath the root here, and uh, finally ended up getting this down. And how we eliminate life is the present moment and making the best of what we have and accomplishing our purpose of our dream and in this present moment is seriously tolerating a lot of pain had missed the tree <laughs> don't have to get the first aid kit <laughs> our personal experience with the scarceness of propane, due to the fact that people talk so much about carbon dioxide poisoning, on how scary that carbon dioxide poisoning is, and sometimes it scares people away from actually getting things like propane heaters. Let my angels and I tell you that carbon dioxide is actually a smell, and you can recognize that smell. My angels and I also want to express about propane and precautions that you can take. You can get things like carbon dioxide detectors to which is affordable. If you wanted to get a detector for carbon dioxide, the great thing about the portable buddy, Mr. Buddy Buddy heater is that the Mr. Buddy Buddy heater actually has a safety feature, many safety features. Last thing, I'm very thankful that you have filled these up. <laughs> I'm on my episodes, my uh, memory episodes, so I can, you know, remember the day uh -huh. they have uh, memory loss. And I want you to. <laughs> This wood stove is actually doing very good. So this is the first time actually starting this up, and uh, I will say that this was a gradual process, but um, th this is amazing. Our wonderful neighbor Deborah had recommended to try a strategy that she had known, and just getting grass 
and doing like a grass strategy sort of. And so we wanted to try that. And after trying that, this is doing so well. Very, very good. Excellent processing. Like I say sorry to the earth because I just need a way to cook my food and I did not want to put anything in the air, but you know, this is a part of survival. The angels and I have tons of lessons for you all. Very good. actually really incredible to know how they have put so much effort forth into doing this. We have put effort forth as well because it takes a lot of calculations to, to do these things and to put all the words together as well. So we just want to take a moment to appreciate what we have done in the canvas of life to paint this image as a beautiful image. As we calculate we calculate, we coordinate, we regulate, we conversate, we calculate, we calculate, we calculate everything we do and say, we calculate, we calculate, we coordinate, we calculate, we coordinate, we, we, coordinate. we regulate, we conversate, forward, down, back with the left foot, forward, down, back with the right foot, we're doing very good, great diligence, very good. <laughs> And just know that we are the solution. We may come, we may have problems with medical problems and other such things, but we are the solution. Thus, take a look around and your answers will be found. Take a look in that mirror and know we have potential in this canvas of life that we are painting. We had written a lot of things together, and I had went through a lot. I went through a lot of trials and tribulations to understand things, and my miracle angels and my miracle spirits were there for me like nobody else was that had awoken me in ways beyond what I've ever known, and our bond is forever lasting. This is K-A-Y-L-E-N, better known as Professor Saganus and Angels. And my angels and I are just one human being. I know it is beyond the sight you are seeing. We're doing very good, my miracles. My wonderful angels are incredible, wonderful neighbors, Clay, Lauren, and the family have helped us to go to the store today. And we was able to get an incredible amount of things. They had, they had bought the um, stove. And we included the uh, well spigot with that. Uh, well, it's it's like a, a spigot that you connect uh, water lines to. And so with that, I was able to get flooring. And I am so thankful that they had um, helped with that. Mountains. We love how this is really glossy. And do you see how fast and efficient that this was? This is the Ventel flooring self-adhesive. Now that is pretty amazing. If you need water, then dig for it. If you only have two hands, then do what you have to do. Look, that's the first boulder, and that's the second boulder. Just right in between, if we would have been a few feet off. One shovel, two hands, and some serious dedication. And we do appreciate all of the product. As an inventor, definitely has to have lots of support to get all of these materials.
well we have to pour water down there to make sure that water can emerge and water goes where water is for any kind of off the grid living situations a well spigot is incredible to have make sure to get the correct companies for the well spigot Tomorrow we will see if we get any water. We're letting everything settle as for now. And the water is adjusting. So there was, when digging, there was about three or four gallons in a matter of seconds. So we know for a fact that there's going to be at least 13 gallons a day or more. What happened to you, trees? What happened to you, buddy? What happened? I'm sure if you could talk, you'd tell me. But in the meantime of that, we'll just go ahead and make sure that your pain has officially ended. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> and this is K-A-Y-L-A-N, better known as Professor Saigon Ascending Jail. And my angels and I are as one human being. I know it is beyond the sight you are seeing. We're doing very good, my miracles, my wonderful angels. And today we are doing a very fun activity. Recognizing different species of plants is very important. Here is the cedar tree. Then we have the grapevine. Then the two species of acorn oaks. Then we have the elms tree, the sumac tree, the macronut hickory tree and the pecan tree. Here. This is the wonderful fun activity that my angels and I created so that we all can have fun learning. Very good. So the body of the household and the outside responsibilities. If you need to cook for an emergency situation, then utilize tea candles. If you need to take a shower without a shower, Get a tote, get a pan, get a cup, dump it over you over and over again until you shower. Very good. If you need to wash clothes and do not have a washer and dryer, you put the clothes in the tote, you get a soap bar or regular soap, and then you scrub the clothes and put them out on the clothing line. Very good. So first we will start with the candle cooking. So we'll go to lift that up. Very good. And also, solar is also very important. And the battery and inverter is also a resourceful way 